Hey, welcome back everybody to Give Me a Break. This is Mr. K of K Family Rips. And in this video, we're going to kind of do something fun. We haven't done a Fairfield box in quite some time. Actually, these boxes were like one of the first videos that uh, I ever shot. And we're going to kind of revisit this. This is a different box than the, what we opened before. Um... I got a bunch of these. Oh, long time ago. This is uh, this is actually back when they still had a hundred cards in the box. Um, this is a newer version than uh, the ones that I opened um, way back when. Um, so this will curious to see what we actually have in this box. I'm not not sure. This is kind of a newer variety compared to. What we had before so we still have one in four boxes contain a hit and package is uh, a little uh more modern looking than the the other plain one did but back in those other boxes i think you had a better chance of maybe getting some unexpected card from um, a player that may have blossomed uh late so we will see what we can find in here. Like I said, I got uh, I ordered a bunch of these directly from Rite Aid. Um, and if you do that, you can actually get them for quite a bit cheaper than what you will pay off the rack at the store. Probably $2 less a box. Um, but I've noticed recently Rite Aid does not offer them online. So... Um, I'm not sure what the deal about that is. So, but I was able to get uh, uh, enough in bulk, and then you don't have to pay for shipping, and you get a cheaper price too. So these are always fun to go through. Um, the value to it is, look at that. We got a pink refractor card right off the top. So you can kind of tell that these are. A little bit more modern than uh, than the ones that we have opened in the past, so this is pretty cool. So far, we're gonna we're gonna start with the middle of the pack, Let's see what we can find here. Uh, Orlando Cabrera. This is a Topps Chrome card. And then we're going to get into some of the so-called junk wax era. This is 87 Tops, Mark Thurman, Tim Conroy, uh, Bob uh, Denier. These are score. Gary Templeton, Diamond Kings, Cal Daniels, Willie Upshaw for the Blue Jays, Al Nipper, Red Sox, Craig Nettles in a Braves uniform. It's kind of different to see. John Farrell. What do we have here? We've got some classic cards. Hensley Mullins. Andujar Cedeno. Sandy Alomar. And this is 1990. Classic. Then we got another Cedeno. Let me discount on him. Jim Acker. Oh, look at what we got there. He's not supposed to be in this box. Vernon Maxwell. He's got a little bit of a corner issue there. Throwing us a little twist. Greg Harris. Ooh, we got a Chuck Knobloch. What is this? It is a hollow prism. Kind of neat card there. So look at the back of it. Mike uh, Sosha, playing days with the Di uh, Dodgers. Mike Stanley, Wallace Johnson. And that feels like it's got a little bit of wax on it. Matt Noakes, Troy Glaus, Heritage. Uh, Pete Shurek, Pinnacle, and surprise that's not chipped up more. Well, it's actually, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. Usually those cards for Pinnacle at that time um, really got chipped. 
Ben McDonald, number one draft pick that uh, never really panned out. Yeah, it's too bad. Oil Can Boyd, 89. Donruss, we've got a bunch of 89s it looks like. Wally Joyner, MVP. Tim Belcher. Back to score, Daryl Strawberry. Don Asse, friend of mine uh, growing up in school. That was his, his cousin. Norwegian name. Uh, Pat Kelly, uh, Juan Berenguer, he used to pitch for the Tigers and a bunch of teams. Ted Simmons, Hall of Famer. Ricky Jordan, there's a Barry Larkin, Hall of Famer there too. And I just got a low battery notification, but we're going to make it through this video. Where's another Hall of, Hall of Prism? It's the same same card, but it same person. Oh, you can see that there on the camera. That looks nice. That's a different version of Chuck Knobloch. There's Mike Boddicker, great pitcher for the Orioles. Vince Coleman, speedster. Back in the day, Bo Diaz. There's Cal Daniels. Charles Nagy, good pitcher as well. Steve Searcy for the Tigers. Jason Giambi, upper deck. Bob Malacki. Uh, we have a season checklist. Derek Lowe. These are nice looking cards. Rob Murphy on the antiquated computer. And Todd Zeal. That's an upper deck card as well. So let's look at the top of the stack. And also you get a pack of cards as well. This time we get Fleer Ultra. And I think I'm going to save those and open those with some other packs that um, I have. So we're going to set that aside. That's Fleer Ultra Series 2. Uh... There's Hernandez, Darwinson. It's his rookie card. It's a nice pink parallel card there. There's Hall of Famer, Dennis Eckersley. That's a nice one there. Gus Polidor. I don't remember too much about him. Tony Bernazard. Uh, Bill Dolly. We got some more 87s. Craig uh, McMurtry. Mike Henneman. A young looking Mike Henneman there. And that is a Topps traded card. That is why. So this would be his rookie card. Mike Henneman. That's a nice card. Uh, Lance Parrish. Multi year all star for the Tigers. American League catcher. Bob Ojeda, Vaughn Hayes, Danny Jackson, Ray Quinones. A lot of names bringing back memories here. Ray Soff, Ron Hassey. He also was uh, played for the Indians for many years. Yep. Dwight Dewey Evans, very good player. There's Larry Parrish, manager in the making. Mookie Wilson, good player. Teddy Higuera. Um, Steve Bouchelle. John Candelaria, the candy man. Brett Saberhagen, very good pitcher for the Royals. R.C. Gonzalez. Jim Pankovitz. Surprising that. These 87 Donneris cards, there's a Ray Quinones again, are in pretty good shape for being in a repack box. Sid Fernandez. Dave Drevecki. 
but black. Let's see a little bit of wax on the back. Ed Vandenberg. Hall of Famer Rick Sutcliffe. Uh, Daryl Akerfields. Akerfelds. Ron Karkavice. Frank Viola, another good pitcher for the Twins. Doyle Alexander for the, this, it's funny, he's pitching for the Braves here. I don't know, some of our older viewers will remember. He was traded to the Tigers. Uh, oh, the back of that card is out of focus too. He was traded to the Tigers. For the Tigers' number one draft pick, which I cannot remember now if it was uh, Schmoltz, John Schmoltz, or I think it was Schmoltz. Correct me if I'm wrong. But they traded him for the number one draft pick, and he did his job. He finished uh, the year for the Tigers like 8-0, and, and he helped them win the division. Um, they beat the Blue Jays by a game, unfortunately, in 87, which would have been this year. Uh, they lost uh, the uh, American League Championship Series to uh, the Minnesota Twins. So, But uh, he, was a, he was a great trade for what they were intending to do. But long term, um, the Tigers missed out on a great Hall of Fame pitcher. So that's the story behind Doyle Alexander, Dennis Rasmussen, Charlie Polio, Jerry Willard, and we're getting more into the junky, junky, junk wax stuff here. Mike Stanley, Eric Plunk, Eric Kerplunk, Jerry Brown, Kevin Kaufman, the always sought after checklist. 1989, and this is Donruss, I'm sorry, not Donruss, it's uh, Fleer from 87, and this was a tough set back in the day, for whatever reason, it was more expensive, that's Billy Hatcher, Danny Darwin, uh, Wallace Johnson, We have Dave Dravecki, and we're going to round out with Joel Davis, Mike Jackson, Rick Shu, who also played for the Tigers. Not yet. He's still playing with the Phillies. That was his only team at the time. Kenny Rogers, also pitched for the Tigers. He had a couple great years. Brett Butler. For the Dodgers, Darren Chapin, Josh Beckett, and it does not look like we're going to get an autograph in this box. Second edition, Leaf, and Jay Payton, and that is a all sport PPF plus. I have not heard of that. by the scoreboard incorporated 1996 so that has his minor league stats on it so i guess that would be a rookie card so that is what we have in that fairfield box so that one was pretty pretty fun to go through maybe it's because i haven't done it for a while but uh Actually had some uh, decent decent cards like this pink pink parallel card and there is our uh, Fleer card Fleer pack which we will open uh, at a later time with some other uh, other stuff so thanks for being with us in this uh, um, Fairfield Friday edition and we've got quite a few of these left so we'll sprinkle them in every once in a while um, but this is our first look at uh, this box 
Um, we've never opened up that version of the box, but uh, you don't get as many cards now from, from Fairfield. So um, we've got uh, a stash of stuff from the last uh, two, three years that they put these boxes out. So we'll look forward to doing that. So again, thanks for being with us. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. And you can hit the notifications bell and you will get a heads up when we post new material. And if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Um, it would just make us look good. So uh, thanks again for being with us. And until next time, we will catch you soon.